appreciate everyone coming. Uh, it's always interesting to see how these meetings will start. And uh, today we're going to start with a little news that uh, we, we lost a colleague last night, Bob Anderson. And the reason why I even mention it is that uh, there's another slightly overlapping conference happening this week in New Hampshire called Map the Gaps. It has a lot to do with the Seabed 2030 project. And Bob was a champion. He followed along the, the work of Marie Tharp. And this is Bob in his globe of the, it's this famous Jebco globe. He was also a member of the Ocean X Prize winning team from UNH's alumni team. So uh, if we could just one brief moment of silence to acknowledge our colleagues there who are going to let the show go on. And thoughts for Bob. It, it's a sad moment, but it also can empower us. Uh, some of you that have been to this meeting before have met Kimakeo Kapahelehua, who's done the traditional Hawaiian protocol opening for this meeting. And I think uh, with the circumstances as is and the wish to grow our community, uh, we're going to defer back to Kimakeo's opening from 2017. So excuse the reference to the 2017 Ocean Forum. I consider this work timeless, and let's use that to sort of gather our thoughts and get grounded for the work we have to do here this week. Koma koma kui kalani, e wana ia ia i konoa. E mahalo e oi loko loko mai kai, e olo olo ho po mai kai. E mahalo kea kua, e malama ia oi, e na ko ohana, 2017 Ocean GIS Forum. E mahalo ia oi na amo kua, e na amo kua e mai kalai ki a kala kao mai o kupu i kala vai. E na amo kua i ka hino a kua i ka hino alo. E kia kau i kalani, nulu kalani, kaholo i kalani. E iau ko mako, e na ohana. E malama o ko, e na ohana. E ulu i kalani, e ulu konua, e ulu kapaina ko honua. E mahalo e oi na kapuna o kahiko. E ia mama, e uanoa.
Ewa speaks about our kupuna, our elders. It says that our elders and our kupuna in the heavens, in the ocean, and the land, they have great knowledge and experience. And how do they become so wisdomic and passing on this knowledge for generations to come and come and come? It is said that in the second chance, Liu Liu, it talks about our family, Napoi Kalani, the people of the heaven. In Napoi Konua, the people of the land. Napoi Kamawana, the people of the sea. We want big Ohana, one family. And how do we take Aloha, the unconditional love, unconditional respect, and care and share? And as you come to the 2017th Ocean GIS Forum, and share that with Aloha. It's called Kauna. Each of you have a deep, hidden, secret meaning of who you are, what you are, what you do, and where you go with this information. And how do we share it with our ohana and generations to come? Hey, aloha yana no vahau, e kamakani kalana o api. E aloha, e no le e i, e kamakani e ka ua o api, e ku ku ule, u mili mili e, e ku ule, ka vika ka ule e i, a e mili mili oe, a e iva iva mai, a he he le e i, Kukino, ahelei, kukino. Aloha. Unconditional love, respect, and care and share. Make yalo pumihana with the greatest love to all ohana. Have a great, great 2017 Ocean GIS Forum. Mahalo. Go Kimikeo, right? He's the real deal. And uh, I, I appreciate if you heard, you know, the people of the land, the people of the heavens, the people of the ocean, that's us. And it does play right into the purpose of this meeting. We're here to connect with ourselves, with one another, with our heritage, with our responsibilities to understand the planet, with our wishes and hopes to understand the planet, and to grow this community, not just the 150 folks here, but the folks that are watching these videos that we're capturing all week, the folks at other ocean conferences this week and this season. November's always a big ocean month. And specifically, we're here to demonstrate to one another how we support the caring and sharing, as Kimikeo mentioned, the responsibility of what we do with this information is of the highest concern. And we want to foster this new understanding of these climate systems. Now, the name of the event probably didn't miss anyone. It's the 2019 ESRI Ocean and Atmospheric For GIS Forum. And we're bringing the two communities together because we feel certain that it's one community where we know that the oceans and the atmosphere are already connected. It's us that need to kind of catch up a little bit. We're here to learn how to crack open some of these gigantic data sets to lead to a greater understanding for ourselves and for humanity at large, and for the planet. So uh, with an Esri tradition, we're gonna take just a moment, stand up, find someone you don't yet know, ask them why they came, tell them why you came. Take a minute to do that, please. Thank you, everybody. Allow my voice to rise and allow yours to go down. It's really hard to uh, try and stop that. And so what I'd like to ask you is don't, maybe for right now, 
But, I mean, doesn't that feel good? That's your, that's your inner extrovert coming out. And I just want to, I want to seriously acknowledge that this space is safe to say, hi, who are you? What do you do? Hey, can I tell you what I'm working on? Hey, I saw your presentation. I want to know more about it. So keep that up. Uh, my, my philosophy is that the, the technology always works in the end. The data are always there in the end. It's, it's us that need to step up and, and engage in that system. The other thing I want to do about, about us is look at this mix. This is, this is academia. Let's see Scripps and University of Redlands and academic hands. All right. And don't sit together after the break. <laughs> Let's see uh, U.S. government. All right. Oh, there they are. Okay. Private industry. See? And conservation, nonprofits. Yeah. I mean, what a mix. So we're small, but we're powerful, diverse, and all motivated to figure this stuff out. And I, I, I want to acknowledge you, of course, thank you for coming, and acknowledge the rich diversity of the crowd. The work you're doing is essential. We're going to take a little journey this morning. And so let me give you a, a little context on the week. We've got a, a plenary this morning that'll be a, a fascinating journey and set of stories. We've got user presentations this afternoon and a nice social at the end. Tomorrow, over here on the uh, demo table, we'll have a technical plenary that's designed specifically to use commercially available software and publicly available, typically living atlas, data content to do the wildest analysis, multi-dimensional analysis, both with ocean content and atmospheric content. And you don't have to scribble notes because we're recording all these. We should have them up next week on our YouTube channel. But it's going to take all of us to learn, to share, as Kim Akeo said, to care and share. And uh, that's, that's what we're here to do today. So this morning, we're going to do a quick little loop through um, a journey. And Dawn is going to share with us some of the work she's been doing as chief scientist this year, some of the partnerships, the work with SDGs and Seabed 2030 and resilience in general. So Dawn is going to really set the stage for us to understand, hey, there's already people doing a lot of great work. Joe Pika is going to then share his keynote story map, talking about uh, not only his career in observation and data collection, but then data management and where are we going with all these gigantic data sets. So he's going to kind of set up the challenge, you know, what is it we've got to do here? And then uh, Alexander Sandy McDonald is going to share with us one specific solution that they've worked out at Spire Weather to deliver extremely high accuracy forecasts in the ArcGIS platform. So he's kind of an example of the work we're all doing in different areas. And then Sylvia Earle is going to share with us some of the work they're doing at Mission Blue with Hope Spots, using ArcGIS and Story Maps. And she's also going to kind of lift us out to the big picture of, of why is it this work is so important. And if we're lucky, we'll get Jack in here for a little while to share his thoughts on the whole thing. So we've got a great morning for you, and we really appreciate you coming.